Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about area of triangle. So as you can see, in figure number 1, we have 4 inches and 4 inches as measures of the sides. Okay, take note. The area of a triangle is derived from area of a square, area of rectangle, or area of parallelogram. Okay, since... A triangle is half of a square, half of a rectangle, or half of a parallelogram. So therefore, the area of a triangle is equal to half the area of the square, the rectangle, or a parallelogram. So this time, we use base and height. Okay, take note. Yung base and height, it could be length times width, it could be side times side, it could be base and height. A height is also a side if and only if the height is perpendicular to the side. Yung measure niya ay makabuka ng 90 degrees. So now, uh, let us have uh, the value of Base, ang base natin, syempre, that is 4 inches. So, 1 half times 4 inches times height. So, height natin, the same with the side na rin. Kasi yung side natin is perpendicular naman dun sa isang side. So, therefore, the height is also 4 inches. So, height is equal to the measure of the side. If and only if, the side is perpendicular to the other side. So, makakabuka ng 90 degrees. So, now, 4 times 4, 16 square inches divided by 2. So, we have 8 square inches. So, the area of a triangle in figure number 1 is equal to 8 square inches. Now, let us have item number 2. As you can see, we have the measure of the base, 12 centimeters, and the measure of the height, which is 5 centimeters. So again, the area of a triangle is equal to 1 half base times height. So we have A, area of a triangle is equal to 1 half base. The base is 12 centimeters times the height is 5 centimeters. Okay? So now we have 1 half, 12 times 5, that is equal to 60. So we have 60 square centimeters. So 60 divided by 2, so we have 30 square centimeters. So the area of the second figure is 30 square centimeters. So pwede rin naman ganito. 12 divided by 2. So, 12 divided by 2 is 6 times 5, 30. Okay? Kung mas nadadalian kayo dun sa divide before the multiplication. So, what if the given in the figure are the measures of the sides? So, we have 6 centimeters, 6 centimeters, and 6 centimeters. So, all sides are equal. So, what is the area? Okay, we have to use the word, the Heron's formula. Okay? So, yung Heron's formula natin, area of a triangle is equal to the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. Okay? So, take note. Yung A B and C A, B, and C ay yung sides natin. Okay? Sukat ng sides. And then yung S ay semi perimeter. Okay? Paano ba yung semi perimeter? So, S is equal to A plus B plus C all over Okay, so let us solve. 
Unahin muna natin yung S. So, S, syempre yung A, yung bali ng A. So, pare-pareho lang naman yan. 6 plus 6 plus 6 divided by 2. Okay? So, that is equal to 6 plus 6, 12 plus 6, 18 divided by 2. That is equal to 9 centimeters. So, now, we can use the formula. So, A of a triangle is equal to square root of so S ang S natin is 9 centimeters ito ok so S is 9 times 9 minus ang A natin is 6 times 9 minus 6 times 9 minus 6 Okay, so we have, that is equal to square root of 9 times 3 times 3 times 3. So that is equal to square root of 9 times 9 times 3. Okay, so what is the square root of 9? That is 3. What is the square root of 9? That is 3. Then, syempre, wala namang square root ang 3. So, 3 times 3, that is equal to 9 square root of 3. Okay? Or, syempre, pag tinimes mo kasi ito, dito sa kabila, pwede maging square root of 243. Pwede maging sagot ay decimal. Okay? So, pwede 9 square root of 3 or ano ang decimal ng square root of 243. So, pwede siyang approximately 5, uh, 15.59. So, that is 15.59 square centimeters. Okay? So, pwede maging ganito ang sagot. So, 9 square root of 3 square centimeters or approximately 15.59 square centimeters. Okay? So again, if the given uh, in figure are the measures of the sides, so yung sides ang given, tatlong sides, three sides, ang gagamitin nyo ay Heron's formula. So S, the square root of S, times S minus A, times S minus B, times S minus C. So, yung A, B, C ay yung measures of the sides. Tapos, yung S is the semi-perimeter. Okay? So, I hope you learned from this video. And if you learn, please subscribe the channel.